In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a fused jumper that has terminals on the end that can be used to plug in to the place where a fuse or a relay has been. For example, if I have this fuse and relay box, I've got some fuses here. If I wanted to remove this fuse, I'll bring this jumper and I'll place it into the terminals. that the fuse was removed from. Now I can take the fuse that I pulled out and put it into this spot here. So I've reconnected the circuit. And what I've done is just created a, a nice way to be able to test this circuit. I could put a circuit breaker in the place of this fuse if I'm trying to test for a short circuit that keeps blowing fuses. I don't want to go through fuses all day long. So I could just install a 10 amp circuit breaker. Or when I'm using my amp clamp, whether I'm using my multimeter or a lab scope and I want to measure current, I've now just created a really handy way to measure the current going to that circuit. It's really a, a great way to do it if you wanted to measure the current to a fuel pump or to a power window motor or to some other circuit without having to cut the circuit open or find a wire that you can access. The fuse is a great place to access it and it helps to have this kind of a tool. So. I'm going to show you how to make one of these very cheaply and very easily. Something else that you need to keep in mind is that when you pull out a fuse or a relay, that the female terminals down inside of there can be bent easily if we apply the wrong kind of a terminal. So these flat terminals fit perfectly, work well, but if I was to use a round terminal or stick a paper clip or a back probe, into those terminals, I bend them. In fact, that's the reason why I have this box sitting here today is because someone had done that to some of the terminals on this particular relay box and we had to replace the whole relay box in the vehicle. So to avoid having to do that in the future, make sure and only use the terminals that are designed for that. You'll see these are the same shape and size. They're both flat and about the same width. So now let's make this tool so we start out with a fuse holder. This is something you can buy for two to three or four dollars at uh, any auto parts store or online somewhere. Um, it comes just like this and the wires are even stripped on the ends. So we'll attach these crimp terminals. So we slide the crimp terminal over the end of the wire. And you'll notice on the end of every crimp terminal, you'll see there's a seam. So on the tool here, I find the, bl the blue one that's made for the 16 gauge wires here. That's what I'm dealing with. And I'm going to use that. I want to make sure the dimple on that crimping tool is going to push right on the seam on the crimp terminal. Make sure the wire is sticking through just slightly. We'll do the same thing on the other end. When you finish crimping, the crimp should have a heart shape to it. See if I can get that to focus. There, it's built other than, as you probably noticed, this is the wrong terminal end, right? We don't, we don't need this. So we're just going to come in here and use your cutters to snip off one side like that. Now we have a tool that we can use to measure current or do other testing of our relays and fuses.